guys, it's Jenny on my channel, oh my, and I'm doing a mask in the middle of the week. Yes. I'm trying to do more masks. I'm trying to take care of this old skin. But what I'm going to do, I'm actually doing two masks. I'm going to use this, the rest of this one, and I'm hoping I have enough for the face. Um, and, and I'll explain to you in a minute. It is the Formula 10.0. Point six, draw it all out. Skin detox fine define peel mask charcoal plus plum. I've done used this and I'm hoping that it's enough in there for one more use. Um but what I'm going to do instead of just that and this here is um if I'm not mistaken Yes, this is made in Korea. This one's not. This one's made in the U.S. that I'm going to do around the face. But this one is made in Korea. So far, I have not been disappointed with the Korean mask. This one I have not been disappointed in. But I was tempted to use it all over my face. But I don't think I am because this is just a peel-off nose pack. So it's just for my nose, my big nose, that big honker there, and it's a strawberry gummy. So I'm just going to use this on my nose, and then I'm going to use the rest, or this one, on the rest of my face. So I'm doing two different masks in one time. If you guys are interested, stay tuned. Keep on watching. Let's get it. Okay, you guys made it. So let's go. Ooh. I don't know. All right. I think it is. Guys, you know, yeah, it's just, it's it's my eyesight show. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this on first. Now, the last time, I have used this already. The last time I used this, um, it's pretty uh, what I call mean. So, it smells good. It's okay. But my sniffer's not working that good, you guys. Um, I'll share with you guys right now. Here a while back, I was doing. I, I was trying to do videos on me exercising and trying to do. See how thick that goes on? It goes on really super thick. Um, trying to do, you know, just change everything on my eating, my everything. Well, yeah, it, you know, it, work and all that stuff. I just don't have as much success. As a lot of other women because of work and just everyday life um, no excuse I get it I totally get it no excuse whatsoever but I am going to be sharing a lot more with you guys on the hurdles of oh my gosh my husband and I Jerry and I went today and um, we tried here a few years ago to go, to go cold turkey on quit smoking. Yeah. Um, we stopped for three months and then some stress hit and that was all she wrote. We've been back at it. It is hard to do. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I don't want to go on Chanix. Um, I've heard too many bad things about it, and so today we went and we invested in the vape little gadgets or whatever you want to call them. I know nothing about them. I'm learning. Okay. That being said, we dropped some money in those bad boys today because everybody that we talked to, I'm not picking my nose, mind you. Not picking it. Everybody that I've talked to has said the same thing. Don't go cheap. Don't go very, very expensive, but do not go the cheapest route. I'm a cheap ass, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm a total cheap ass. But I didn't do it. I went mediocre. Um, yeah. Well, I had a thing of cigarettes left, a pack left, or a little, little less than a pack. And, um, yeah. So, we get hooked up. The guy at the vape shop helps us. I don't... This kind of goes on weird. Um, but anyways, the guy at the vape shop helps us out. Gets us set up and everything. And, um... 
it was okay. It's not nothing to write home about, I guess. So I was telling him, you know, um, I wasn't craving cigarette or nicotine because what we've got has nicotine in it. The, the fluid has nicotine in it. That is not what I think my body's craving. My body was craving the taste of what it was like. Mind you, I'm not a heavy smoker. But it goes back to, you can't be a little bit pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not. So you either smoke or you don't. You know, that's how I look at it. Um, I don't go out and do it, you know, all in public and all that. It, it, I don't, I try to keep it under control, but I'm not a heavy smoker. You know, I'm not a chain smoker, I guess is what, what you can say. Anyways, that being said, so I told Jerry, we were talking here earlier, and it's just like, he, he asked, how are you doing? You know, are you irritable or anything like that? I said, no, not really. I said, a little bit. But I just kind of, whoops, I got it right on top of that. I, um, but I just kind of keep to myself. But it's not bad. He goes, yeah, I'm kind of the same way. I was like, okay, good. At least I know it's not me. So he's like, do you want to smoke a regular cigarette? And I was like, yeah, that would be really nice. Well, yeah, it busted my bubble because that regular cigarette did not taste like my cigarette. So therefore, I have no use for them anymore. So I'm figuring, at the most, I'll be on the vape for maybe three months and I will be done because I don't like the aftertaste of it. And you have a flavor you pick. You can change your flavor up, but I'm such a cheap ass, I will not, um, change my flavor until my flavor is done and I got um, I picked up blueberry limeade and not it's not so much the blueberry that I taste but the it's like a lemonade -y thing I can handle that but um, I'm telling you I, I will not be one that has you know 500 flavors that I just go and choose I will finish one out and then I will go from there but in two weeks, I'm going to drop my dose of the nicotine. I'm going to drop it even lower, and then I'm getting myself off of it. So in the process of that, it's going to be more water intake and more exercise, a lot more. And I then told him, I don't want to hear it when I don't care if it's raining outside. If I feel that I need to go for a walk, I'm going for a walk. I don't care. I will take my baseball bat with me. I will, uh, you know, but honestly, you know, I don't think anybody would want to mess with me anyway. Uh, here on the news, some old woman went psycho on a man's because <clears throat> she's just trying to get away from everything for the moment. I'm squeezing every little bit of this out of here. So if you guys use a vape and you have any advice or maybe a flavor or something that would help me get through this, let me know. Put it in the comments because I'm very, very new to this. This is not, um, not my thing. You know, I'm not, I'm not used to it. But we're just looking at it like, you know, because we both want to quit. I, I especially do. I don't, I, I'm going to assume Jerry does, but it's just something that we need to do. We're getting older and, you know, we're wanting to do more physical activities as far as our bike riding, you know. It's just one of those things. None of us are perfect. We all have our flaws. We all make our mistakes and our bad decisions, you know, but we can try to correct them the best we possibly can. So therefore, I really, truly try not to judge no one. The only time that I really get upset and I get irritated with people is when they abuse their children or they abuse senior citizens. Then I've got, I've got issues with them. Okay, 
I'm going to let this dry, and I will be back, and we will chat a little bit more while I peel this off. This one here, I know it's going to hurt, so stay tuned. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and she is dry. She's nose. A little itty bitty tacky right there, but I think she's ready. So I can get this on the ball on the road. Oh. Okay, under the nose. Look at that. One piece, you guys. Oh my gosh, I got a little bit of my hair right there. Oh my god, a little bit on the side. Not too bad. Okay, now the bad part. This mask for the nose. I'm gonna say if you got real super super sensitive skin, no, don't do it. Um, because it's a mean one. But if you can handle it, it will take all of the blackheads out of your nose because it is that mean it's not as bad as the one i did oh it's the tip right there what gender i it i got it wow Okay, you guys, <laughs> just a little bit of cleanup that is needed, and then that's it, but that is it, but my skin feels awesome, you guys, um, this mask here just peeled off in one piece, you guys see that, that is just awesome, so, I believe my daughter got this for me at Ulta, um, I don't remember what she, I, I, I believe it is at Ulta. Um, but it's the formula 1006 draw it all out skin detoxifying peel mask charcoal plus plum and then this one here I got a TJ Maxx <clears throat> and it is a peel off strawberry gummy nose pack so it is just for the nose and I think I got all of the stuff out of the Nastra house so we will see. We'll give it a closer look up later. Oh my gosh. Uh-uh. Okay. Um, and it's a Korean mask. So I got this at TJ Maxx. I think I paid like $4.99 for it. And um, it's actually one of the first Korean masks that I got. I didn't realize it was just for the nose. I thought it was a whole mask, but but I'm glad it's just for the nose because this bad boy, if it was right here. Ha, 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 But, okay. Thank you guys for joining me. Until next time, y'all take care. God bless. And you guys have a wonderful day. And don't forget, go and enter it. I've got a St. Patrick's Day giveaway going on right now. And the last day um, for entry is on Sunday, March 7th. So, go Look at the other videos so you can see which ones you can get get the initial entry in and then bonus entries. Go and check it out. Come on, you guys. Go check it out. I My wine glass is, she's almost halfway full with entries. So go, let's get her filled up so I can have, so I have to throw her in a pot. So come on, come on, come on, come on. Until next time, you guys, have an awesome night. God bless. Peace. Love ya. Bye.